Winter was coming to an end, and I'm always happy for that, but not this time. You see, where I live, winters are kind of mild. Something I definitely won't complain about. However, this means that it never snows here. And snow is, for me, probably one of the only fun things about winter. So, seeing snow had been on my bucket list for three years in a row, and it was time to do something about it. We're heading to Sierra Nevada right now, where we are going to be snowboarding for the first time tomorrow. We've both only skied once before, so we are really looking forward to it. I'm really excited just for the snow, because I haven't seen snow in years. With everything that is going on in the world right now, this was possibly going to be one of our last vacations in a very long time. So we had to take advantage of the opportunity and try snowboarding for the first time. After a four hour drive, we arrived at Sierra Nevada. It was too late to snowboard that day, so we decided to spend the rest of the evening exploring the village. It was gorgeous, like a fairy tale. We wandered around taking pictures, amazed at the icicles, and raising our hopes for the day to come. saw some deer when we were leaving on our way to the hotel. The next day, after much turning around, we finally made it to where we were renting our gear. The guys there warned us that being our first time, we would probably spend all day with our butts on the snow. And so, with such encouragement, off we went to try snowboarding for the first time. Getting off the chairlift was the first sign of what was to come. At first, all we did was fall over and over and over. Getting up was challenging. Still, we were having so much fun. It was painful and exhausting, 
But after a much needed lunch break, we went back at it. And to my surprise, we started to get the hang of it. It was freaking amazing, feeling free as though I was flying down the mountain, even though it looks like slow motion on the camera. <laughs> This trip was just what I needed to remind myself of how beneficial it is to get out of your comfort zone once in a while and to immerse yourself fully in something without expectations. And when you fall, always get back up.